They were complaining about everything. Moses told them to trust God and be patient. After all, they were headed to the land God had promised them. They would soon have their own land and be God's holy nation. Just when Moses thought he couldn't make their complaining any longer, they finally reached the promised land, a land called Canaan. What was the name of the promised land? Canaan. Canaan. That's a fun word. There's only one problem, though. They were already people living in Canaan. Wait, God promised them a land? That people were already living in? But people were already living in it. Would you be confused if you were an Israelite? Yeah. You're like, God promised us this land, but there's already people in it. And we've been eating this bread that's coming from the sky. And we've had to get water out of rocks. Oh, so confusing. So Moses sent 12 spies in the land to check it out. Do you know what a spy is? It's someone who sneaks around gathering information without being noticed. The 12 spies wandered all over Canaan taking notes. Was there food, fresh water? Were there trees? How many people lived there? Were they big people? Were they little people? When they came back to Moses and the Israelites told them what they saw. The promised land was amazing. They saw grapes, huge, delicious grapes. They saw lots of fruit trees and they saw good land for growing crops <clears throat> with clean, fresh water running in brooks and streams. They saw the land God promised was an amazing, wonderful place to live. But they also saw people who lived there. They looked big and they looked strong and they looked mean. What if they attacked the Israelites? Would the Israelites win or lose? Moses asked the spies what the Israelites should do. Two of the spies reminded the Israelites that this was the land God promised. Even the people, even though the people looked big, God was bigger. If they had to fight for the land, God would fight with them and they would win. All they had to do was to trust God. But the other 10 spies were scared. These people are big and they're strong, they said. If we have to fight them, we're going to lose. Who should the Israelites listen to? The two. The two. They should listen to the two. Israelites listened to the scared spies. They forgot all the things God had done for them to get them out of Egypt. They forgot that he was always with them and that he was bigger than anyone or anything they could face. And they forgot about God. So they didn't do what we thought we should do. They listened to the 10 and not to the two. They said, we're not going in that land. Let's go back to Egypt. Moses couldn't believe what he was hearing. The children of Israel, God's friends, were turning their backs on God. Because you don't trust me, none of you will get into the land, I promise, God said. Someday your children will go, but you won't. God watched the Israelites. God wanted the Israelites to trust him. He wanted them to remember that he loved them very much and that he didn't need them to be afraid because he was always with them. The Israelites forgot all these things, and so God put them in timeout for 40 years. 40 years, I can't imagine sitting in a court. I know. Well, they were promised the promised land. What was the name of the promised land? Do you remember? Canaan. Canaan. Canaan was the promised land. There were already people in the promised land. Mm -hmm. And the Israelites were so confused. God's people were like, we don't understand. Mm -hmm. So they sent, well, who do they send in? Spies. Spies. They sent 12 spies in. Two of the spies said what? God's with us. God's with us. They said, those people are big, but God is bigger. We can do this. God promises this land. Let's go take it. But 10 of them said what? Uh, these guys are big and strong. They listened to their fear. They didn't listen to God. They said, we are going to lose. And because they listened to their fear, God put them in time out and said, you have to roam around the desert for 40 years. You're going to die before you, yeah. you get in here. It'll be your children who end up in the promised land. God wanted the best for his people, but his people turned their backs on God. And God reminded him over and over in this story, I am with you always. Do you know that Bible verse? I am with you always, always, always. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Very good. God is with us all the time. I know it because I do it on my Bible study. We do that in Bible study. You're right. Matthew 28, 20 is a good Bible verse to memorize. It reminds us that God is with us all the time. So until next week, can everyone say goodbye? Bye. 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 Oh, even the dog. They should listen to the two. Israelites listened to the scared spies. They forgot all the things God had done for them to get them out of Egypt. 
They forgot that he was always with them and that he was bigger than anyone or anything they could face. And they forgot about God. So they didn't do what we thought we should do. They listened to the 10 and not to the two. They said, we're not going in that land. Let's go back to Egypt. Moses couldn't believe what he was hearing. The children of Israel, God's friends, were turning their backs on God. Because you don't trust me, none of you will get into the land, I promise, God said. Someday your children will go, but you won't. God watched the Israelites. God wanted the Israelites to trust him. He wanted them to remember that he loved them very much and that he didn't need them to be afraid because he was always with them. The Israelites forgot all these things, and so God put them in timeout for 40 years. 40 years? I can't imagine sitting in a court. I know. Well, they were promised the promised land. What was the name of the promised land? Do you remember? Canaan. Canaan. Canaan was the promised land. There were already people in the promised land. And the Israelites were so confused. God's people were like, we don't understand. So they sent, well, who did they send in? Spies. Spies. They sent 12 spies in. Two of the spies said what? God's with us. God's with us. They said, those people are big, but God is bigger. We can do this. God promises this land. Let's go take it. But 10 of them said what? Uh, these guys are big and strong. They listened to their fear. They didn't listen to God. They said, we are going to lose and because they listened to their fear, God put them in time out and said, you have to roam around the desert for 40 years. You're going to die before you, yeah. you get in here. It'll be your children who end up in the promised land. God wanted the best for his people, but his people turned their backs on God. And God reminded him over and over in this story, I am with you always. Do you know that Bible verse? I'm with you always, always, always. I'm with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Very good. I God is with us all the time. I, do, I, I know it because I do it on my Bible study. We do that in Bible study. You're right. Matthew 28, 20 is a good Bible verse to memorize. It reminds us that God is with us all the time. So until next week, can everyone say goodbye? Bye. 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 Oh, even the dog.